Hey, how's it going? Hey, this is Moose Kale Adventure. Uh, thanks for stopping by. So the snow is finally melting here in southwest Missouri, and we're finally out of the single digits. Thank goodness. I'm, I'm ready for a nice little warm up here. But uh, today what we're going to do is continue on with the DIY door system for the back of Cherokee. So today's project is to disassemble the spare tire carrier area. So I'm curious to see what's underneath that plastic and how much storage space there really is underneath there. So right now we're going to go ahead and pull the Jeep in to the nice warm shop so we can work on this in a little bit more comfort. All right, let's get this thing in there. So now that we're in the shop, well it's, uh, it's nice and warm, I can take out my bibs. Let's take a look in the back of this and see what we're going to do here. Alright. Alright, so what I'm looking at doing, let me get the flashlight, see if this helps. Alright, so I'm talking about doing here. It's taking out all that plastic ring around that, taking off this lid to it, taking out the little uh, tire holder, and opening that hole inside up. So, I mean, we'll have to see, you know, how much space that actually gives me in there. I'm not 100% sure uh, that, you know, that I don't think there's just going to be a ton of extra space after that, but it's going to give at least some. So first thing we're going to have to do is take this panel off here in order to access some of this, pop that out. So we'll take, uh, we'll take these tie down points and there should be a screw underneath those. So we'll have to pop the cap off and then we'll, uh, yeah, then we'll unscrew that. Just kind of, there's an indention there, so push that forward a little bit and we'll take a little flat head and see if we can push it and pop it there we go there we go and voila you got your little uh, little Allen uh, little Allen bolt there so see if we can get that loosened up Alright, that's what you're dealing with. Well, you're tied down. Don't mind the nastiness. Alright, let me get that other side, and then we'll pop this thing off. Alright. Alright, so, after getting that removed, noticed right here. Well, it's too right. All right, right in here. There's a couple of a couple more uh, bolts to take out, and it definitely feels like that's holding all that together. So I'm gonna remove these. There's another couple of Allen's, and uh, then we'll get this thing popped off. Okay, so there's just that cutout in the cross, kind of a cross cut out there. Let me get down in there.
All right, so see if you can see that. So there's four clips in there that snap out. That's what was holding it. So yeah, you got to uh, take out your hood release. I mean your trunk release, and then you got to pop those clips up. So, all right. Looks like clip there. Another clip there. And then we'll uh, look up in there. See what else is holding it. All right, so the back is is uh, completely free. Now I just got to figure out what's going on on the front and uh, pop this whole thing out. All right, so we're going to take the top off. And uh, to do that, you just uh, slide your seats forward, make it easier to access it. And then um, there's just uh, where the hinge for that kind of kind of pops in a little plastic spot. And you just push down and you'll pop both of those out there it is free all right so you know sometimes you start tearing stuff apart like this and you don't really know what you're getting into it can be, it can be a little a little nerve-wracking at times because they can please just go back together in a nice way you know but we're too far in to stop now so for the most part it always works out right all right so i want to pop back in okay i'm guessing there's probably some clips up here but uh that's that's what it'll look like Hopefully yours doesn't look as dirty as mine. But all this is going to come out. Alright, so... Okay, there we go. So there's a couple of... A couple Phillips head screws. Oh, that's bright. One there. And one in that little divot. Pay no attention to the nastiness. I've got... Uh, you know, a couple boys that they can make a mess fast. All right, that's it. Oh my! Voila! Good. Okay, so now we see what we're working with here. All right, let me give you a little, let me show you a little bit. So you can see it kind of exposes some of the, some of the bones there. So as we kind of do this, go through this DIY, you know, obviously this is a starting point because, you know, I have my plans of what I want to do, but really until you see you know what it looks like underneath that um, you, you can't can't really move forward so I think uh, I think still the plans are gonna work but here's a look at it so it's gonna open underneath down in there I'd be curious to see if it's any louder driving it's not quite as secure there but you know we'll uh we'll address that as we add the shelving as we add the platform so what i'm looking at doing especially now that i see this is probably i'm going to try to cut my board to fit right on this ledge right on this ledge okay so hopefully i can uh you know hopefully i do a phenomenal job cutting but that'll be that's where my platform's gonna go, and then uh, then we'll see from there. 
If I want to do anything else, if that makes it stiff, then we'll we'll stop there. Uh, if not, you know, I may end up putting a board down here just to kind of go back and protect some of that because there's some some wiring down in here. That is a lot more space, I'd have to say. And there is what came out. Yeah. Whoop. So ultimately, came down to just a few clips, a couple Phillips screws, and uh, you're in business. All right. go so there you have it that's what it'll look like if you take uh take out your spare tire area your plastic and all the you know all the all that crap <laughs> they got all that stuff so uh i do want to see what the seats i think the seats will still still be good Yeah, everything still looks good. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, yeah, we got now we got a good work surface, a good work area to create what we want back here. So yeah, that's it. That's all we're gonna do today. Just wanted to get that knocked out and and get the tear down done. That way we can start the uh, the building process. So you know, hey, if you're uh, enjoying the content on the on the channel, hey, think about hitting that subscribe button. All right, uh, you know, it. Uh, Help us out here at Moots KL. All right. If you liked the video, if it was helpful, then uh, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, if you thought it was, uh, you know, just worthless, hit that thumbs down button. All right. Let me know. And if you have any questions about this process or what I'm doing moving forward, leave those questions down there in the comments section or whatever comments you have. All right. Always enjoy hearing them. Always enjoy reading them. And I always respond to them. All right. See you in the next one.